Okay, so we've got Danny here and we are heading to the park and we are just turned off the main street and he really, really likes going this way. As well as me, look at this big, huge sidewalk. And then you can see they have some of the um, more uh, native plants over there. And this goes up to the park off of um, the main street and this is just uh, down from my apartment. So, I'm just really grateful I got out of the house today. I um, actually, the person who comes to take Danny on walks, I managed to find some people through um, putting out my situation on Facebook to some volunteer groups and seeing if anybody could walk him. And I have two people who are, excuse me, who are rover dog walkers who have been so great that they come each of them like twice a week for however long he'll go out and it's he loves that except that it's been too hot actually for them to come and then it's been too uh the air quality was too bad and so he hasn't gotten many walks in the last couple weeks so he is very happy so what happened is is that she had sent me a text that she was coming so i got him ready which means putting him in his uh, t-shirt that's wet <laughs> and his halter and then she texted me back she's like oops wrong person because she normally comes on Monday and Friday and I was like oh so I didn't want poor Danny to have to get dressed in his wet t-shirt for nothing um, but it really does help keep him cool and uh, works amazingly and then um, I do also bring water and then I check on him to make sure that he's okay because he, um, he gets hot fast. So, and then now he will go on my lap. All right, so we got me and Danny now who's sitting on here so we can go across the street um, because his little paws would not like it. So he's getting a ride. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, just wanted to show you the pretty flowers. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. I'm not sure if you can see the wild turkeys over there. They all have their wings down, so they're kind of hunched over. Anyway, but that's the way we're going, so we are going to have to, I'm going to have to pick him up or else he'll probably bark at them. But, wanted to show them to you. This is what happens when you lose proprioception. It's a nasty bruise. I got from banging into the counter. Basically, I still have like, I would say that I'm not clumsy. And like, that I, but the thing is, is that I really think that the hypermobility spectrum disorder is causing like a change in my proprioception because I just run into things all the time. It really sucks. Oh, you want more water? Okay, so now you get to see me Danny when he doesn't really like water. Oh, he really doesn't like water is what I should say. Hates the rain, hates baths, everything. But when it's this hot, I give him water to drink and if he doesn't drink it all, <laughs> I put it on him. And he hates it, and he looks like a drowned rat, don't you? You're such a sweet boy, I love you, you're so funny. You're so funny. So, let's see, we gotta give him a little more. A little more, wet his shirt down a little bit more. All right, it actually works quite well, and he's not panting now, so it's, it's a good thing. But like I said, it's pretty hilarious because he would just rather be too hot than have water on 